right. I'm back, and I never left. So much going on on these streets, man. On the YouTube streets, on the street streets. So much going on in the real world. Had to get a ton of shit accomplished. Storm, bust a tree on my car. So, had to clean all that up. Process, um, what you call that? I guess, re recuperating, whatever, you know, like the aftermath, maybe, you know, of that shit. Bust limbs, getting the limbs, uh, damage the car, and, you know, like, gonna leave the damage, then you gotta, now, so now I gotta hustle up, um, not deposit, um, but the damn deductible, that's what I mean. Yeah, and on top of that, YouTube putting the shadow ban on me or whatever they call it on YouTube, you know, where they suppress your stuff. They've been suppressing it for the longest, but they went all out hardcore on me. And everybody, man, everybody that I follow, with the exception of a couple of people, you know, I didn't even see. They didn't show up on my feed. Every time I click, I didn't see it. And I'm still not seeing a bunch of it. So it's still a nice little ban on stuff. I mean, why why they do that? It, it, it seems to be slowly starting to come back around, you know. That's basically kind of what I watch. Like, set of things, sometimes to change. Anyway, just saying, that's like a little update, I guess. Uh... That's what that is. Yeah, so I got, um, I think a few more things um, I could share. I'm going to see how I'm going to piece it together. If at all, I could just leave this like this, right? For those that, for those that give a damn, you know, just that update. And I'm out here, you know, getting a little sunshine. It rained. It ended up raining yesterday, so it's a little soggy out here in spots. And, um human you know but healthy as well you got to do it the best you can walk bad if you got something bad on you do the best you can man walk to the mailbox whatever you know walk to the curb walk around the block get a bike that you got to paddle get a three-wheel bike you know whatever you got to do you got to do that shit, man. You got to move, stretch, work the muscles, build strength, you know, keep you out them pharmaceuticals and out there doctor office and stuff, man, you know. I'm just saying, you know, do what you want. We all have our own life to live and we live it on our own terms. No matter what, even if we living on another motherfucker turn, even if we don't know no better, we not not lived long enough to know no better, or you know how it go. We isolated so much, we never get out of the isolation. We are trained to be that way, and um, well, I guess that's how it go, huh? Because either you you're trained to not be a husband as a man, you know, but a son husband. So that's why, damn, I guess I never thought of that. That's why you you were never trained to be a husband. You were trained to be a mama's boy, a good son to mama. And, you know, put mama above your wife, above your significant other, even. It caused conflict with me. I know that. It was a conflict. And it always is, to tell you the truth, if I'm going to be honest about it. It's always a conflict, you know? Like, because you be dependent where I was for a lot of things in a lot of ways. Shit. They don't say. It's, it be like that, that shit on Friday, you know? They don't say it like that, though. Well, some do. But, you know, get it from that bitch. You know, you with that bitch, who's, who's that? 
Like, it's be a real jealousy thing, man. You know, we'll stop. Uh, Cause you with them, they don't want to be bothered with you. As long as you choose to be with them, it's gonna be a distant relationship, buddy. You know what I mean? Certain things, you just not allowed. So that will get you mentally, if you're not about your business, about the person you're with, about having a life outside of your family, you know, nothing wrong with family, but you gotta have a life outside of this shit too. You know, all right? Right? You know what I'm saying? And just like friends and all that, man, they will drag you down. So then you're back there. That or the confusion will bring you back there. Then you back there serving them. And end up settling some kind of way to be some type of servant. Which I don't even know where I, my life would fit in with that shit. Cause um man, look, things happen the way they need to happen. If we do things that we need to do, which most important things is, is doing, you know, thinking positive, doing from that thinking, positive things, and positive things happen, positive change happen, and keep striving. You got to separate. Ain't no two ways about it. This shit's not meant for, for, for y'all. You're not meant to be um, successful or even happy. You'd be happy to an extent, you know, but you're not even meant to be happy with them. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get away, right? It just ain't meant to be. You ain't gonna have the things that you want to have um, with them. It will never come. Shit, my luck change, my life change every time. To tell you the truth, it's it's differences. Some of it's subtle, some of it's big, huge. You know, soon as a motherfucker left and left for real, not that leaving and I'm I can come right back. Like they was gone. You know, I'm done. That's when shit change. Shit changed for me. Cause you know, you it's it's really a lot of it's do or die, but the vibe, the atmosphere, the universe, no, man, I'm not giving you you know, the universe be jealous. Like not no, I wouldn't even say that. That's 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 definitely the wrong way to look at it. Like, man, I'm not giving you that for you to give it all to them. I give it to them. What are you stupid? You know, but so everybody don't get that. Oh, I hear it, here you go. Give it all away to that motherfucker, dummy. You know, now I be protected, you know. And I suppose as chosen ones we are. And that will keep a lot of us maybe. Think about it. Perhaps that will keep people poor. In poverty, poverty mindset. Being with a poverty stricken person. You know, a person in a poverty mindset. Is going to keep you in one. Or even if they not. They want to keep you trapped and needy and needing them and serving them. So it all, I don't know if it's a triangle or what it is, but it's a full circle thing. You know, health, your pockets, and uh, your mental. Well, health, is it one thing or is it separate? Physical health is one thing. It's it's got to be separate, cause you don't you can work on them together, but you still, to an extent, need to work on them separately. You still got to put time. Like you can piggyback and do meditation type things while you're exercising. You can listen to stuff. I I get that. And you could do that. But I think at some point in time, it need to be relaxed if it's 
10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever it is, like, where you do just that, just in the mind, relax the body. I, I just sing. And then, so, therefore, the more time, perhaps to an extent, perhaps not, because I've, I've heard people say that they meditate for days. They have meditated for days. So I don't know what the really a limit would be of that. You know, where it's not beneficial. All right, so that's my take on it for the day. I ain't made this too long. What kind of title I'm going to put on this, man? Help me out, y'all. I'll retitle it if you stuck around to the end. Make sure you like and subscribe. Appreciate you. Appreciate you all, all y'all. Uh, new subscribers, because I know, speaking of algorithm, my shit changed. I know some like, even though the numbers look very similar, almost, it was a shift. You know, um, I think they thought I was going to be a panda, a panda bear, and I'm not, because I don't talk or I don't think. You know, well, I'll start out talking about strictly narcissists and I wasn't talking about men or women. I didn't I didn't get down to no nitty gritty like that. And then as I start talking about it and start breaking down things and analyzing what's what and why what's what. I well, I had to dig into shit, the man ass you know <laughs> no homo <laughs> dig into the man's ass. <laughs> And the woman's ass, you know, and dig in that shit, <laughs> get down to the nitty gritty to see, you know, what's what, what came first, the chicken or the egg, you know, who damaged who, who's the cause, you know, and man, look, really, truly, we, it's, it's that in there, but you can't even really, it ain't even fair. Because we sabotage. It's white supremacy. Even, you know, like, I could point, I could, and plenty of people could pinpoint it out and pull it out and show you and pick it and show you exactly where it's at. But it might not even look like that to the naked eye, to the layman's eye. It might not look like that at all. Like, hi, man, there you go. You know, Everything, everything the white man, everything racism, everything. It, yeah, it, well, in a way, yeah. In a way, yeah. It's the same all over the world as I'm seeing, even in Hawaii, you know, where they calling them squatters and saying that they stole their land or they squatting on their land. Because, see, I, there's so many islands too, but. They took what they wanted, and they eliminated who they wanted. You know, I don't, I don't think they quite did the massacre there like they did a lot of places. I don't know. I don't know for sure. You know, they probably did, but I'm just saying there's a lot of Hawaiians in comparison to other places where they don't have the numbers of their native people. Maybe they're not natives at all. Maybe there's some mixture of white and whatever, because uh, maybe the real Hawaiians were darker. I don't know, but I'm saying all over the world, that's the cause, that, that'd be the cause. They set up shop, take your shit, set up shop, do whatever, and set rules in a place to keep them in power and to keep you not in power, to keep you in poverty and mess with your mind, mess with your family, mess with your ability just to function on a day-to-day, -to, -day, to think clearly. And the foods and the whatever and whatever, you know, all the, the propaganda, you know, they punk, you know, so. And like I said, the family keeping you locked in and they keep you locked in on the polit politicians and they keep you locked in and keep you locked in on the religion and they keep you locked in. You know, keep you weird thinking of how you make your money. Perhaps, 
you might get a pass for that. You might get a pass for that if you could run with a ball or, you know, just if, if you, you could be successful at least somewhat in whatever it is that's different, you know, or just stand your ground enough. They might get you a pass on that, I'm just saying. But most other things, like, you know, man, anyhow, I said that was it, and that ain't it. That's, that's not too long, though. Appreciate you. Like, subscribe, share the video. Thank you. Thank you kindly. That's all I got. Oh, man, it's getting warm. I said that humidity. Fool. I'm out, y'all. Peace.